hello guys in this video I am going to show you how we can use button click on send data from this type script file to I mean this type script file to its HTML file okay I am talking about this file okay from HTML to I need to send data to type script file so we'll check it uh, how we can do it easily so this is really like uh, very common thing what we do or going to do in the upcoming video to pass the data between like among you can say from HTML to TypeScript page so this is very going to be very common so let's see just a short video or we can just the short information for that okay so here I will first go ahead here in uh, like you can see right currently this is the login page I am in at the login page here okay and it's the same uh, thing what I had left in the earlier video so this is the next like a uh, uh, video series of like 11th chapter for angular video series and yeah, before proceeding I would like to request you guys please subscribe my channel if you have not done that yet and also write down the your suggestions and feedback in the comment below so I can improve my like uh, presentation skill so that you can understand better okay so now let's start I mean let's move forward so this is the login component and here I am going to add a button this is going to be simple HTML button and in this button you can see I can put here uh, click me okay and here I need to put the event so this is basically the click event so in angular we put it event like this you can see this is the curly braces and we are also see it like banana bracket okay so inside the click uh, like we need to put here the method name so for example we can say it like test method suppose and this method I am going to create here in the TypeScript file so I will put it in right now outside here okay and also I will put the curly bracket and let me put here some alert okay so inside the alert I will put hmm, test is clicked okay and let me save it okay and you can see here yeah so only this is the thing only okay so now let me run this by using npm start and now you can see it is started and let me refresh this page as well okay and now you can see the click me button is here so once I will click on here click me then you can see TES is clicked what I had written okay so basically I should write I forgot to mention that here in the TS I will make it test is clicked okay and now I will click and test is clicked okay so next thing how we can pass the data so suppose I am expecting here one param like uh, that will be the name okay and okay and you can see right now I am getting the error here which is name is declared but it's never used and never read so yeah let me read it here so in after this I am just putting few hyphen here and after that I am going to concat the name here okay so still you can see I have added everything let me also put here semicolon but still I am getting here like name is implicitly has any type okay that means it, it this is basically coming from the TypeScript error okay so yeah so what you can do here we can just pass it here uh, for example right now any okay but yeah I, if I am specific that name is going to be string type so just put here as a string instead of any okay and now you can see fail to compile because from here what I am going to call it is not matching with that okay so here again I need to pass some string so yeah let me put my name okay and here I will save it now you can see compiled successfully and here again it's automatically refreshed now and once I will click you can see test is clicked and variable is coming as like value of value is coming from this button I mean okay from Raj is coming from here to uh, this type script file and from here it is printing it
okay and in the same way we can also pass multiple params okay so suppose I am going to pass my roll number now okay and which will be type of number instead of a string but we can also okay then one more thing I need to okay define it here uh, with name I also need to define it roll number so uh, okay I'm defining just one two three and integer value we can simply define it like this and now let's move here and let me click on it but still you will see the same because I have not changed anything here in TypeScript file okay so let me also do this thing or change here first let me separate this thing by putting here the name and here I will also add concat and here I will add a space and here I will put roll number and here again I will put a space and then roll number okay and let me save it okay and it, this page also automatically refreshed so now I will click here and you can see uh, name is coming but not with the space okay let me put here one space okay now let me save it and again let me click it and now you can see name is coming Raj and roll number is coming one two three okay so it is coming as expected so like this you can send the data from HTML to TypeScript easily by on click of a button okay so but suppose if you are not aware about the type some variable or some condition could be like that okay so we cannot know whether it's going to be integer or or like a string or any type so or float so what you can do simply in that case here type is in the TypeScript you can simply provide any and any so this is basically a TypeScript feature okay so for this you need to uh, learn a few TypeScript but not the expert level just a few things or basic things of TypeScript okay so uh, that's not very important basically to learn TypeScript here to move ahead with angular but yeah you can learn it that will be better okay so yeah let's see here again let me click on it and you can see again name and roll number is coming in the same way okay so yeah for now you can just simply understand these are the types just a string is a string type and number is integer type or okay any is any type okay so yeah that's all what I want to show you in this video basically to send the data from HTML uh, to TypeScript file on click of a button which is going to be very useful for our uh, for day to day like development task okay so that's a very like generic thing to understand here in the angular so yeah that's it in this video right now okay so yep uh, so yeah please uh, mention your comment in the comment section or feedback if you have you can put everything anything okay or also you can put any question if you have so that I can help you with that so that is all guys in this video I hope you uh, learned something new from this video so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you